Hey there, so as some of you know, I did have a video in the past where I talked about the best accessories to have with the Oculus Rift, and it was met with some pretty good success. So I thought to myself, you know what, let's make an even better video, because to be honest, the production quality on that one wasn't super great. So without further ado, here's a list of some awesome accessories that you should get for your Oculus Rift. Now the first thing is first, and that's going to be the Oculus Touch controllers, as well as a third Oculus sensor, or a second one if you only have one. So the Oculus can of course be used by itself with just the headset and one sensor. I'm going to be honest with you though, I definitely don't think it's worth it with that stage. Get a couple of those touch controllers, they're absolutely worth it, they'll get you super immersed into the game, and you know what, uh, you will need a second uh, Oculus sensor in order to work with that, luckily that does come with the controllers. One thing you're definitely going to want though is a third controller to go for full room scale. Now I just kind of wanted to put this in there, pretty obvious stuff, um, but it is something that will make your experience a little bit better. So now let's move on to kind of the real accessories here that we want with our Oculus Rifts, assuming you already have some of these guys right here. Now with the Oculus Rift, of course, and the sensors, they have to be wired up to your computer. That being said, that, that can always cause a bit of a problem, because you know what, your sensors don't always work out the best if they're right next to your computer. You want those guys kind of across the room, especially if you want true room scale. That being said, one thing that I think is an absolute necessity is a couple of 3.0 USB extensions. Now I'll toss a couple links in the description for all the things I talk about with all these lists here. But uh, primarily what this does is it allows your uh, 3D sensors, as well as your headset if you also have you know, an additional sensor to go with that, it allows them to be placed much farther away from your computer so you can actually get them behind you or to the side of you, exactly where they need to be in order to make your VR experience great. After that is going to be something pretty similar, and this is actually going to be an HDMI extension. So as a lot of you guys know, unless you don't have a headset already, um, the Oculus Rift uses an HDMI as well as a 3.0 hookup to hook in with your computer to use the headset as a display. That being said, your headset has to be manually hooked in and that HDMI is only so long. You don't want to be tripping over that thing and that's why this is one of the most top rated accessories out there for the Oculus Rift. It'll allow your headset to go a lot farther away from the computer itself without having you tripping over the cords. Another thing that people talk about, especially when they're trying to create true uh, room scale with their Oculus Rift, is actually going to be the mounting brackets that you're going to want. Now there's going to be a couple different types out there, so you can kind of search around to find exactly which one you're looking for, but I definitely recommend getting something to mount those cameras on. The standalone units themselves can do just fine, but if you get something wall mounted, or even better yet, um, something that's kind of or that can go overhead or just kind of just be around the room in different areas that allow you to get different vantage points, especially around seven feet up. Those are going to definitely increase in, improve your, your playability with your Oculus Rift. So you're going to need those as well. They're pretty awesome. Usually they're not super expensive and they're very easy to set up. So I definitely recommend grabbing a couple of those guys right away. Another neat kind of accessory to go with your Oculus Rift is what's called the Virtuix VR Boom. Now this is basically a kind of little stand that holds the cables so that you're not tripping over them or getting twisted up in them as you're kind of moving around. It holds them at a kind of a, a length ways away from you so you don't have to worry about being or pulling your cables around, stepping on your cables, tripping on your cables, getting twisted up in your cables. It really is a, a genuinely awesome thing to have for the VR enthusiast out there who likes to move around a lot in their games. So I'm definitely going to put that guy on the list as well. Now this one right here maybe isn't as practical, but it's definitely pretty interesting and pretty awesome to the hardcore VR people out there. This is what's called the Subspace M2 Vest kind of guy that will go on there. I'll put a link for it in the description so you guys can learn a little bit more about it. But basically it's a vest that links in with your computer sound and it'll actually get you kind of a little bit more aversion to what's going on. Um, they claim you know, you'll feel every gunshot, every explosion, every cinematic swell in the music as you play. So basically it vibrates. It's basically like a little subwoofer that's on your back that vibrates to every sound that happens in the game to get you even more immersed. It does come in a little more pricey, that's, but I did decide to keep it on here because a lot of people say they're pretty awesome to have. So you know what, I'll kind of let you guys do a little bit, a bit of research if you're interested in that. And that's why it's on the list. Next I have two that are going to kind of be more on the comfortability kind of side of things as well as the sanitary side of things. One thing that I think is an absolute must and they're not really expensive at all are going to be the Oculus Rift VR covers to go on your headset. I'll put a link in the, in the description for one that I have myself that actually works super well. Um, basically it's a little tiny mask thing that goes over where your face touches the VR mask and that way it one is pretty comfortable to have on your face. It'll also keep your hair out of that kind of uh, the comfort uh, or that uh, that material that 
Oculus uses with their headset to cushion your face, that can catch hair pretty easy and it can kind of tickle you while you're playing games. This will put a shield in between you and that so that doesn't happen. As well as that, it protects your Oculus so you don't have to worry about your, you bumping into that or getting the oils from your hair or anything like that all over your Oculus and getting it kind of grossed up over time. It'll keep really anything out of there from seeping into the foam that's on the Oculus, which is pretty awesome. They're easy to take off, easy to clean. I definitely recommend them without a doubt. If you get nothing else from this list, this is the guy that you need. Then on the list, I thought I'd just toss this in there. I use it myself, if I'm being completely honest with you. You do have to look out a little bit for when you when you kind of go for this kind of stuff right here, but it's gonna be anti-fog spray. Now, some people are super against using this with your VR. Um, I, like I said, I use it myself. As long as there's no adverse chemicals and as long as there's not any really alcohol content in the fog spray, then there shouldn't be any problems with it eating away at the protective layer on your, on your lenses, on your VR. I think it comes super in handy, keeps the fog off mine for long periods of time, which is awesome. I definitely use it. I haven't experienced any adverse effects from it. I'll leave it up to you guys just so you do know there is a chance it can cause a little bit of damage with those guys. So just make sure you know what you're grabbing out there. I'll, I'll put the link in the description for the one that I use myself. Like I said, I, I haven't had any problems with it, but there are people out there that swear that you know it will cause a lot of damage for it, and it isn't something that Oculus necessarily recommends themselves. But you know, for those of you guys out there who are willing to try it out, I, I am gonna put it in the list. So as we approach the end of our list, it is going to get a little bit more technical. Um, and with that, you know, as you guys know with the Oculus Rift, not only do you need an HDMI hookup with it, you also need a USB 3.0 for the headset, as well as a USB 3.0 hookup for each of the sensors. Now, to get true full room skill, you're going to want three sensors. So that means four 3.0 hookups total. Now, a lot of computers will have three of them hooked up. Mine does. Um, a lot of them also have four, but some of them don't. Some of them only have three. In this situation, there's two main solutions that you can do. Now, if you're kind of a tech-savvy guy and you're familiar with taking apart computers, doing things like that, then I would definitely recommend going about the way of the expansion card. Now, I'll put a link in the description for exactly the kind of expansion card you might kind of need uh, in order to use it with this, because it can be a little bit tricky to the layman to track down exactly the right one. Um, and basically, this expansion card allow it just expands the number of 3.0 USB slots that'll be in the back of the computer. So that way, you can actually hook up as many sensors as you need in order to get the, the truth room scale experience. Now, if you're not familiar with kind of taking apart computers or building computers, or you're not comfortable with that kind of thing, that might not be the way to go. And in that case, and this is kind of, can be a little bit more hit or miss. It's worked for me, kind of like my other stuff I've used in the past. I actually use an Insignia one. I'll put a link in the description for other kind of USB hubs out there. But it's using a 3.0 USB powered hub. Um, now, Oculus does say there can be issues with different amounts of bandwidth going across and different amounts of information that needs to be passed through the hub. But like I said, it's worked for me. Some people say they haven't worked or it hasn't worked as well, but I definitely just hooked a USB 3.0 power, power hub in and I just used the rest of my sensors with that guy and it works wonders for me. And just to finish this list up a little bit, there are a couple other things that you're probably going to want with your Oculus Rift headset. Now, I was very happy with the, with the earbuds that kind of come with it or the ear the ear pieces that go with it to give you sound. But if you are looking for other things, the Oculus does have the ability to do removable headsets and to allow you to use your own headset to go with it. So that is, of course, an option to do it with that, guys. Um, other than that, one thing I also recommend is grabbing a couple of microfiber cloths as well, just to keep that Oculus nice and clean. You know, it's an expensive piece of machinery. You want to take care of it. You want it to work nice, and you want everything to be, you know, nice and peachy clear with it. So I definitely recommend grabbing some of those get there, guys. So thanks for watching guys, like I said I just wanted to make a quick list to show you guys the different items out there that can go with an Oculus Rift just to make your experience that much better. There are of course other ones out there, that, you know, there's carrying cases, the Leap Motion controllers. I didn't want to delve too deep into it though, I just wanted to make a quick robust list of things that I use myself that absolutely make my VR experience that much better. So without further ado, I'll kind of let you guys get back onto your days or your nights or whatever you got going on. I'll let you guys just have a great rest of your day, alright? So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.